Skinny Razor. Did you ever hear that name? Of course. Yeah, he's the you heard boss's from mentor. The, from the guys that, what, what's that? He's the boss's mentor. He was uh, he was a guy that... Uh, he's was, my mentor. He was yours. He was Scarfo's. He was... Uh, Scar Scarf no, he hated Scarfo. Please don't... And I, I know you were told this. The people you had in here are making a story up. Phil That's why Phil I'm Phil Leonetti here. makes up stories? Who? Phil Leonetti? Yes. He makes up stories? Yes. He's not the killer he's supposed to be. Phil Leonetti makes up stories. Yes. I mean, it's been. I, I wouldn't say that to you without knowing that <clears throat> Skinny Razor was known as a guy that. Skinny Razor was the most feared man in the oh, United States. Oh, one of the most States, feared men. Oh, absolutely. In the United States. Oh, absolutely. <clears throat> that, but and he wouldn't talk to them people. He wouldn't talk to Phil Leonetti or, or Nicky Scarpo. He, he became, when he got 45 years, he became a witness. The only time I became, became a witness was at the end. When I took in Joe Molino being, I, they made them all swear, you got to take care of my family because I'm going to, they, they needed help in the city. They were trying, I was the one to put that group together. Nobody else. I said, but you got to promise me one thing on our blood. If something happens to me, whether I get killed or I go to jail, you go and bring an envelope every Monday, I mean every month, excuse me, and bring it over to my wife. Joey, yeah, I remember all this shit. Yeah. Good. You know what happened? Mm. Not a dime. Not a dime. That's what they are. That's why I'm here. A little bit. What's Joey got to do with Leonetti and Scarfo, though? Joey said, Joey's there. Was, they were together as brothers one time. Leonetti's not. Scarfo is a sick man. He was born sick, he's going to die sick. And Leonetti, he wanted Leonetti to be. See, you were getting the, you got the story first, and you believed it. He wanted Leonetti to be honored and wrote about in the paper, like other people. That's what he wanted. He wanted them to, to be like. He wanted him to be like Salvi Testa. Salvi Testa was the purest young killer. But everybody ever. says that. So, so what you say? No, what you're saying right there is to challenge you a little bit. But is, why would it challenge me? Well, no, no, to challenge you on that a little bit. Leonetti also believes Salvi Testa was a great guy. Well, because he's telling you, you're listening to him. Well, you're saying the same thing. No, I'm not. I said Salvi was. Leonetti's a phony. No, no, no. Leonetti said Salvi's also a great guy. Oh, he and you believe that he that he Salvi's hated him. Guy. He wanted to kill him. He was told to kill him when he had a chance. Because he reported to Scarfo. Nicky Scarfo hated all them kids from downtown. Of course, everyone knows that. Well, what do you say? Everyone, you're telling me something about No, that. no, everyone knows that. No, and listen, when, when Scarfo what, passed away. you tell me? When Scarfo passed away three years ago, not a lot of people showed up to his funeral. You know, not, not, there was not a lot of do people. Do I know? Were... He was hated. He hated me. Yeah. He would curse God. Because I asked Angelo Bruno many years before that, I'm going to go kill Nicky. He's going to cause us problems with Atlantic City. You said that to Angelo Bruno, they are going to call, kill Nicky. I'm not going to repeat that. Why should I repeat it? You didn't hear me? I said it. And you know what he said to me? Hmm. Don't you dare. He's, as his uncles came over, they were on the boat with me. The war that we had with the, the Americanized gangsters, because when they came off the boat, they called them Zips. And they start tape biting at this, the numbers, the, the everything, every little gambling house. That's what happened. Nicky Scarpo was scum.